Hey YouTubers, it's Scarecrow Red Dart Welding. Today's uh, project is we're going to be working on this uh, cattle trailer here. It belongs to Bozo Circus Animals. Uh, he put his elephant in here for uh, Mary Jane and uh, Betty Lou's uh, birthday party and it broke through the board. So uh, I'm going to show you, uh, he just had this uh, floor replaced and I'm going to show you what uh, what they did to it and how they messed up and why his elephant fell through the through the floor and and ruined uh, the kids' birthday party because they couldn't you know have the elephant to ride on and and uh, messed it up pretty bad. He had to walk the elephant home because uh, it it busted four boards over here and was dragging its uh, legs and skinned its knee and everything else. So he came to Red Dart Welding to uh, to repair his uh, his circus trailer here and and we already started on it. But I'm gonna uh, show you the do's and the don'ts and and some tricks real quick. So here we go. All right, guys, the uh, the first mistake that uh, these people made when they put this floor in is they used uh, carriage bolts. Problem with uh, which carriage bolts and treated lumber is treated lumber is still wet. still has a lot of moisture content in it, even, uh, even when you buy it from the store and all that stuff. still has a bunch of moisture in it. And uh, what happens is, is that um, when it dries up, it, it shrinks. It takes the pressure off the, off the nut and uh, gets loose and as you're uh, hauling your elephant down to the uh, to the kids birthday party these uh these nuts vibrate off and and you know it's pretty much worthless because you don't have a bolt on it anymore and that's exactly what uh what had happened is uh you know they uh the screws uh, or the carriage bolts um vibrated out the nuts off of them became loose and uh um when uh, Bozo's uh, elephant was up here in the in the uh, front uh, uh, front section over here, it fell through the floor. Another problem is, is when they replaced this floor, they didn't do any bracing on it or anything like that. Um, we had just put this piece in right here, but uh, but besides that, it was from this piece over there, uh, roughly about four and a half foot, and that's just too much for an elephant. So probably would work with goats and sheep, but uh, you know, not not for Bozo's elephant and birthday party animals. So uh, another little problem that was uh, had occurred over here is they used a uh, piece of flat strap, as you can see right there. And uh, that's all that was holding on the, the front section here. Well, this was bowed like a banana. Um, and uh, we ended up coming in here and putting some, uh, some square tubing in there, welding it up in there. And uh, we're also closing up all these holes that uh, they drilled through here for the, uh, for the carriage bolts. Um, come to this back section. We put a put another piece of square tubing in there uh, to close up this gap some We're gonna put one right here uh, Weld that in and then we're also gonna put one right right here in this section right there uh, We're gonna weld up all these holes right here, and then we're gonna use actually um, You know decking screws that that go on a uh, on a trailer. I'll show you all those in the in the next clip here uh, we started over here uh, filling in these holes, but uh, we're going to finish filling in all these holes real quick. Uh, weld in uh, this piece of square tubing. We got another piece of square tubing to put in this uh, this axle uh, right here above it, and then um, and then we're done. One little tip: um, when you're welding up the, these holes like this, uh, there's several different ways that you can do it. But the way I do it is I have a piece of uh, brass rod right here. You just put it on the on the bottom here to close the hole in. You weld it up, and then you pull the rod off. Uh, anytime you're arc welding or anything like that, it will not stick to brass. So if you have a, you know, some some solid brass rods, these are great for uh, filling in holes. If um and um and you know if you have a like on a tractor on the draw bar, if it's a little oblong or something like that from pulling a plow a lot, you can stick this in there, weld up around it, and then pull it straight out. Um, you know, it, it helps build those holes back up so you can get this in different sizes Another option would be some brass plate I don't have any but you can just put a piece of plate underneath here weld it up and then the plate will fall off It won't penetrate onto that brass. So uh, a little quick tip right there. We're gonna uh, finish up this uh, this trailer here and um, And then uh, you know give you a little overview and then we're gonna start putting the decking back in all right, we got all the uh, all the holes welded up over here. Took a grinder to the top, make them nice and nice and smooth. Um, put the uh, corner bra or not the corner, but the uh, cross bracing in right there. Another one right there. Another one up there. Cleaned up the front a little bit. Uh, now we're gonna go ahead and uh, and put these boards in. Half of them are the old ones that that came on it. Like I said, he just had this trailer replaced, but uh, his uh, his um, uh, elephant. Um, 
elephant's name is floppy so floppy floppy broke three boards and uh we're gonna have to replace those three boards and then put the other ones back in there and uh and start screwing them down all right guys a quick little lesson here on installing uh trailer boards um the the way you're supposed to install them to uh to prevent you know rotting and and cupping and all that stuff is uh you're supposed to install them bark side down and what what exactly me that means is that the the side that is closest to the outside of the tree the bark side is supposed to be installed down the easier way to remember it is is uh it's supposed to be smiling at you so you can see these grains right here um, you know, they're making a smiley face and they're they're smiling at you. But if you were to uh, to uh, You know go off the other theory, which is is the same way. It's just bark side down what that means is is the uh, The side that's closest to the outside of the tree is supposed to go down So you can see the center of the tree is right here So this side would be the closest to the outside if it was perfectly round um so you know th this this part would be closer to the to the outside of the bark versus this part not by much probably about a half an inch but what that does is is it keeps this this board will eventually crown up like this like an upside down um uh u and when water sits right here in the middle it would run off to one side or the other if you were to flip it the other way eventually it will crown like a u and the water will sit right up in here in the in the groove and it will uh tend to rot more so, um, you know, that, that's just a little quick tip. You know, does it always work? No, some, some boards are way softer than others and have bad spots and they rot out quick. So, you know, with today's lumber, it really doesn't, doesn't matter. But, um, you know, if you're installing, a, installing boards on a new um, trailer floor and all that stuff, just remember that it should be smiling at you. So uh, here's the smile. We're gonna uh, start putting these in, start uh, screwing them down and go from there. All right, instead of the uh, carriage bolts that they use, these are the screws that we're going to be using. Um, they're, they're pretty much the same. The only difference is, is with this one, you have to pre-drill. And um, it's a 7, uh, if I believe correctly, it's a 7 30 seconds um, drill bit. And uh, you pre-drill with, with that. And then uh, as this goes in, it cuts threads in there and it, it screws the board down. Um, this style right here, it's self-drilling. These little wings cut the uh, cut the wood out so it doesn't grab it. And then uh, it once uh, once the threads hit it, um, this the self-drilling part is just a hair smaller than the thread, so the threads grab it and it gets sucked down. Uh, same exact head, pretty much the same same principle. The only difference is, is one is um, self-drilling, the other one isn't. Um, a lot of times when you're using uh, with thicker uh, decking material uh this won't work it won't drill through the angle iron so we're gonna go ahead and try these hopefully uh this uh, angle iron and stuff is uh is thin enough so um you know this one will work if not we're gonna have to go with this one in a, a drill bit so. all right we already uh had put the uh the first one in it worked out pretty good so uh, we're gonna continue on with these self drillers here i go about a about a good inch in from the uh end you don't want to go too far because then this will start to curl up a little bit if you go um, too close to the end, you know, it could split off. So about an inch is a, is a pretty good number there. Um, and uh, we're just going to, as you can see, it drills through the wood. Once those wings hit it, it uh, makes the hole a little bit bigger so the threads don't catch it. And then once it hits the steel, you do have to apply a little bit of, uh, little bit of pressure here. When those wings hit the uh, hit the steel, it will take a little bit uh, for um, for them to burn off. But uh, you can feel it as soon as uh, as soon as those wings burn off, it, it jumps down in there. And I always go a little bit, probably about like an eighth inch down, because this is new wood. It is going to shrink a little bit, and you know about an eighth, uh, three sixteenths down in there, your screws are still um, still won't stick out after it dries up a little bit. That's done. Uh, we're going to continue on and, and finish it out. 
All right, guys, we're uh, we're pretty much finished over here. Got all the boards uh, screwed down, um, at least the the front and the uh, or the beginning and the end, as you would say. Uh, still gonna have to uh, to screw the uh, cross members here, um, but I'm just gonna make this video real quick and and uh, close it out. Um, pretty much, uh, like I said, it's pretty much all done. Um, Bozo can put his uh, elephant in here and and uh, go to Mary Jane and Betty Lou's uh, birthday party. It's not ruined. I saved the day, so um, you know a lot more bracing in here. Got some new boards and and everything is going to be uh, hunky dory. So uh, don't forget to uh, uh, you know if you're uh, ladies out there, if you're having a birthday party for your kids or something like that, don't uh, don't hesitate to uh, hit up Bozo and Bozo Circus Animals for. Uh, for rentals um he's got all kinds of weird exotic animals for you to ride and and uh and all that so hey guys as always uh don't forget to like comment subscribe ring that uh bell for uh, notifications and as always god bless and stay safe